Starts off a sunny afternoon with the 7th Hokage Naruto looking outside his window from his office. As he's carrying a conversation, he sees a meteor crashing down just behind Konoha. He talks to Shikamaru how there could only be one ninja who could do this, but how the heck could he have returned? Starts suiting up, telling Shikamaru stay here and make sure everyone in the village doesn't interfere. Let Shikamaru know two last things. One, send Sasuke a message that the village is in trouble. And two, if I don't make it back, you're the new Hokage. Protect this village that I love. People of Konoha all panicking, running around. We see Boruto, Shikadai, and Sarada walking out of Ichiraku Ramen, looking at the meteor falling behind the village. Konohamaru-sensei tells them to follow him. They're going to a safety zone for all shinobi and all the citizens, but Boruto knows his father must be over there and wants to go and help. Likewise for Sarada. Konohamaru-sensei tries to demand that they follow him, so they pretend to follow, all the while plotting how to go. Shortly after walking, Shikadai uses his Jutsu to freeze Konohamaru, giving Sarada and Boruto time to run. We cut back to Naruto going up top the Hokage mountain, and at the top is none other than Uchiha Madara. So finally, you show your face, Uzumaki Naruto. It's been quite some time since our last encounter. Looks like you've continued Hashirama's dream and became Hokage. A fool's dream that I'll make sure to end this time. I thought I was done for with my last death, but apparently someone wanted to shake the shinobi world once again. So I'm going to conquer this world, starting with the end of this foolish facade of a village known as Konoha. Naruto charges Madara. Next, we cut back to Kakashi, talking simultaneously to all the previous Kage, telling them to warn the new Kage of the dangers going on by the Leaf Village. They immediately suspect his Madara Uchiha, and we see a small flashback of the ass whooping they got from him. We have to neutralize this threat immediately, Guy Sensei says to Kakashi, so he's back again, looks down at the wheelchair. So let's go show him the spirit of youth never dies. Kakashi looks down and thinks to himself, this guy never changes, while he laughs. We cut back to Sarada and Boruto running towards the Hokage Mountain. Sarada starts telling Boruto. I read some of the Konoha history books that talks of one shinobi who could drop meteors from the sky, an Uchiha ancestor of mine known as Madara. Our fathers fought him in the last shinobi war and were able to take him down. Boruto says, so how is he back if he was defeated? Sarada says, I don't know, but I'm sure your dad will handle him because he's this great seventh Hokage. They reach the edge of the mountain and see a shadowy figure standing atop. Boruto starts to run towards it as Sarada freezes, screaming to Boruto to stop and look away. Don't look, don't look. With her shotting on, she can see something that has freaked her out. As Boruto continues running towards the mysterious person, he sees blood everywhere and looks up. Immediately tears stream from his eyes. We see a close up of Madara Uchiha's face smiling and breathing hard and then a full shot of Madara with a huge hole through his armor and through the right side of his chest, holding Naruto's head in his left hand. Throws it at Boruto's feet. Go tell your village the Hokage is dead and the new era of Shinobi has begun under a new god, Uchiha Madara. Boruto faints and as Sarada jumps there while shocked grabbing Boruto she runs away with him as Madara continues to laugh manically the resurrection of M Uchiha Madara